Welcome to Taiwan News. I'm Viet Cường. Today's headlines. Opening to traffic Hanoi Taiwan New Highway 3 PK2 package. Announcement of detailed planning of Yenbing Industry Service Urban Area. Main industrial products of Tangmen province show continuous decrease. On July 13, the Ministry of Transport, in collaboration with Tangmen Provincial People's Committee, organized the opening ceremony of Hanoi Tangmen Highway 3, belonging to the PK2 package through the territory of Tangmen province. The state leaders and Taiwan leaders attended the ceremony. The said project is located in the Northern Economy Zone. The route with a total length of 29.3 kilometers belongs to the PK2 package. This package is one of the fastest clearance rate approval and construction in the whole route. The work plays an important role in the development of all aspects of Taiwan province, arousing the strengths of Taiwan and attracting investors, especially foreign investors, and help Taiwan province confirm its position as a center for economy of the northern midland and mountainous areas. For the entire project schedule, opening the route to traffic through the territory of Taiwan province will also boost the acceleration of the works of the two remaining localities. At the meeting, 11 groups and 22 individuals were awarded the Certificates of Merit from the Ministry of Transport. Taiwan Province praised five groups and six individuals gaining distinguished achievements in their competition to fulfill the plan. For in District People's Committee, in cooperation with Yenbing Investment and Development Joint Stock Company, announces the detailed planning of Yenbing Industry Service Urban Area. The Đề án được phê duyệt quy hoạch chi tiết tại quyết định số 1283 Ủy ban nhân dân tỉnh Tân Nguyên nằm trên địa bàn. Urban area and the remaining area is for military purpose, workers accommodation and people without incomes. Populating scale is estimated at about 30,000 people. The new urban area project is with modern architecture and planning, synchronous technical and social infrastructure, and simultaneously an ecological area processing distinguished feature of the northern midland and mountainous area with harmonious development between living space, public space, and environmental protection. The project, when completed, will contribute to meet the increasing housing demands of people and considerably change the outlook for Yen district in the future. On July 11th, Bang Chung Bada Craft Village held a commitment signing ceremony to ensure its product quality and safety and awarded the membership cards to the craft villagers. Recognized since 2009, Bánh Trưng Bờ Đậu Village has proven its brand and been able to establish a position in the market, generating stable jobs for most of the villagers. The monthly income of each villager ranges from 2 to 3 million Vietnam dong. In order to stabilize its product quality, the management board of the traditional craft village requested the members of the association to sign the commitment to ensure their product quality. According to the commitment, the members have to do production following the committed procedures. Bado is the first craft village among the 80 others to sign the product quality insurance commitment. Signing in the commitment will improve the village members' awareness in ensuring food safety and sanitation, thus build up the quality and brand name of the product. Also at the ceremony, Taiwan Association of Craft Villages awarded membership cards to 50 members of Bánh Chưng Bado Village. Taiwan Provincial People's Committee has decided to provide its capital for implementing the commercial black car project that will help farmers increase their income and develop a comprehensive agricultural economy. After one year of implementation, this project is found effective in practice. In recent years, Taiwan Provincial Aquatic Center implemented the commercial black car project with a total cost of over 641 million Vietnam Nam Dong, and on the pond water surface of 6,000 meters square at Hương Sơn Commune, Taiwan City, Lương Phú Commune, Phú Bình District, and Tân Thái Commune, Đại Tử District. 
After one year feeding, black carp has killed about 2 kg per head. The total number of harvested black carp is estimated to reach 6 tons. Currently, the wholesale price of black carp in the Thái Nguyên market marks up to over 120,000 Vietnam dong per kilogram. After removing the expenses from the gross profit, each household benefited over 70 million Vietnam dong per year. After 40 months, the project applied science and technology in feeding commercial black carp in the ponds in Thái Nguyên has shown a remarkable economic efficiency. The common wish of the farmers involved in the project is to increase the project duration approximately one year to qualify for carp development. Commercial black carp is currently meeting strong demand of the market and opening up a new and effective production duration for farmers. Industry and construction sectors are the largest contributions to the annual growth rate of Thailand province in a two-year implementation of the resolution of Thailand Provincial Party Congress for the tenure 2010-2015. However, the main cause that drags the lower growth in the overall province after the half term is due to the downward growth of these sectors. It may be recalled that the trend of proportion reduction of the metal production group that includes steel gradually increased from over 53% in 2010 to over 45% in 2012. In particular, rolled steel products after six months of production were estimated to achieve 770,000 tons in 2013, declining 4.6% compared to 2010. This fact has had a major impact on Taiwan industrial production as the half year of 2013 has gone by. Steel production in recent time has shown very low results. If only the steel products grew a little bit, that would be a great contribution to the growth of Taiwan province. The public spending cuts, the frozen real estate market and tight monetary policy, etc., have put steel businesses in bedeviled circumstance. As a leading manufacturer of steel industry in the province, Taiwan Iron and Steel Corporation is making its efforts to overcome challenges. The value of industrial production of the unit decreased from more than 2,900 billion Vietnam dong in 2011 to more than 2,050 billion Vietnam dong in 2013 and is expected to continue declining over 2,040 billion Vietnam dong as the year ends. This shows that more hardships and challenges lie ahead. The difficulty that Taiwan faces is the market. First of all, the structure of the product and ever-changing consumer demand makes it difficult to plan production. Next, too large inventory is due to slow consumption market. The company must plan to supply products to the market, ensuring quality as well as price. Many large units in the steel industry are trying to maintain their operations and avoid losses. Apart from confronting the negative impacts from the domestic market, the steel industry is now heavily influenced by the price of imported steel. Meanwhile, the increased capacity of the steel industry continues to rely on the new project. The company has taken drastic measures to supply the market later this year. This will help Taichung Steel Company weave through the works next year and reach a capacity of 70% to 80%, or about 350,000 to 400,000 tons of steel per year. The capital and consumption source will be focused to solve the deficiency. Overcome the difficulties and promote the socio-economic development in the locality, reducing production costs, restructuring, improving competitiveness and strong investment in technology are considered the major vital components of the steel industry in the province. Besides, paying attention and offering favorable conditions from the agencies and other departments should be regarded as a stepping stone to help enterprises overcome difficulties and stand firmly. And that's all we have for today. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye.